Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so that will be Capricorn, uh, Sun, Moon and Rising, weekly tarot reading May 6th to May uh, 12th, 2019. And just uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. And we can move to the spread directly. All right, so the first card, which is marking the topic for Capricorn's week, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which is the challenge of the situation or of the week itself. Uh, that will be the Five of Swords. Then what we do have, it is the positive aspect of the week. We do have the Page of Swords. And then the last one, that will be the Guidance card for you. That will be the Nine of Pentacles. So once again, um, Ace of Pentacles, then it is the Five of Swords, afterwards it is the Page of Swords, and then the last one that we do have, that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. So uh, this uh, kind of looks uh, very heavy on a business side week, all right? It does look like that a, a very good opportunity opens for you, uh, Capricorns, and you don't want to miss it. Although you may be rather, you know, apprehensive of, of taking it, it is because going to take a, a long time to develop before actually start paying off in a way that you want it to pay off. So uh, the first card that we do had, uh, that would have been, uh, that would have been the um, Ace of Pentacles. And so the card itself as a topic, it does point that you will have an, a rare opportunity to further your goal. Now, the problem is that it's going to be a slowly developing one. And maybe you will want the things to happen with the snap of your fingers, but that is not going to be the case for throughout this week. Additionally to that, the, the Ace of Pentacles, it does point that you are going to um, face the week with a lot of con uh, content and as well um how can i place a, a more e uh, eagerness you know to jump into the endeavors moving on forward additionally to that the ace of pentacles points that you will be able to establish a harmonious flow into your uh, into your relationship and uh, you can establish as well success into your business whatever your business is the accompanied card that is going to be the Tree of Cups. And just as I suspected from the from the previous cards that we do have here, but the Tree of Cups or as a, a combo, it is a, um, a passive supporters, or no, no, excuse me, passive friends, that is. And the Tree of uh, Cups, it does point that as soon as you start performing into this direction, which the rare opportunity lies, you will start seeing that your actions actually are uh, manifesting themselves or rather they're materializing uh, bit by bit the goal. It is just, you know, the, it will require a lot of performance before the goal actually materializes fully in front of you. <clears throat> 
And also, uh, it has a lot to do with the harmonious flow of the relationships. It doesn't only mean, you know, romantic relationship. It also could mean, and I do believe it means business relationships here. So through the cooperation and maintaining your business relationships, you are to obtain that vision of how you can become lucrative and successful in regards to your business and in regards to your career as well. Now, the problem, however, lies within the five of swords, which is the challenge itself. And that is where you, this card points that you have constrained yourself way too much. As a matter of fact, it may have something to do with a, a previous ill speech that you have to endure. For example, someone telling you that you're worth for nothing or that you stand for nothing. You know, you have endured that mental cruelty, that humiliation, and you don't want to go through it again. You know, that, that means that you are... Um, better staying the same, you are thinking for yourself, better staying on that place instead of risking, you know, and going for this rare opportunity of yours to further your goal and be being humiliated once again. So you have to overcome that feeling of failure that you may do have within yourself, which is placing boundaries for you to perform even further and to uh, basically grow in regards to your business or in regards to your relationship as well. Additionally to that, the Five of Swords is that it does point that you need to be careful whom you are placing your trust into because as these cards are pointing to cooperation, you cannot cooperate with everybody. So you will have to be careful where you're placing your hopes at or whom to you're placing your hopes at. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, strength deformation. It is a uh, active friend and you got to hold down your horses in a sense of that you need to act based on a, a very well established and premeditated plan on moving on forward instead of doing frantic act, frantic actions and hoping for the best. Additionally to that, it's going to be very challenging for you to uh, resist on the urge to constantly explain yourself why you want to go after this opportunity, you know, why you will have to maintain the, uh, the, the, the harmonious flow into your relationship to a point where you will, may need to feel obliged to explain why you have to be happy and lucrative, you know, which kind of like sounds preposterous, but uh, the, the, the situation or the people around you, especially those which you do, which you should not place your trust in are going to bring you to basically bring you down on your knees and you will have to avoid that by believing for for yourself that you can be better and that you can perform better especially in regards to business so that leads us to the uh, third card which represents the positive aspect and that will be a person who is going to bust your balls, guys, um, uh, from a, a positive standpoint, that is. So we do have the Page of Swords. And what the Page of Swords is uh, here for you, it is a, a unexpected source of help, a, a new source of help, a, a person who truly criticize you for the better of you, meaning that they, uh, for example, you know, you're explaining yourself to everybody and they confront you and say, well, well, why, why the hell you're explaining yourself? I mean, what these people really require from you or toward what, and you're doing it. I mean, if you're doing it, you look guilty and basically they are to confront you for every wrong step that you are doing along the way. Busting your balls, like I said, in a very positive manner through which you are to um, kind of like consolidate on a very important fellowship. It is not partnership. It is more like a fellowship where this person from a objective standpoint, you know, is to pick point you what you're doing wrong, how you should do it according to their beliefs that that that, that doesn't necessarily makes makes it true. But the very least you can extract a, a very positive um, information from what this person is telling you but the problem here with this card is that it always gonna be through a poignant experience so they're not gonna make so they're not gonna make you aware in a calm and gentle fashion it's just that person is gonna say the things just as the things are even if you don't like it so it's gonna sob sober your um, sober you in many ways 
especially if you are aiming for uh, unrealistic goals. That is because this person can't discern fictions from facts and they are going to do that for you. The accompanied card, this is the five, uh, the eight of pentacles, excuse me. And so the combo here, it is in uh, active enemies. It does look like that um, the additional, uh, excuse me, the additional reason why that person is around you is that they are going to pick point you what you are doing, uh, what you are doing way harder than it needs to be. So it's more like they're going to point you shortcuts, all right, or are going to are, are going to point you that there are um, an enterprises that simply aren't going to be beneficial for you. And no matter how you perform, you will always end up on the downside. Therefore, it will be uh, very advisable for throughout this week truly to um, listen to that critical voice from the person, from this person, which is around you because they truly wishes you the best, but that could not cannot happen if you are not placed into a more uncomfortable position um, <clears throat> from, for example, being a, um, a spoiled child, figuratively speaking, to a, a child which is criticized for the every wrong step that they do. And that leads us to the last card. So uh, before we go to the last card, excuse me, uh, I want to summarize. So this week is going to be a week of a, a lot of criticism, which is going to be addressed to you. But that criticism is uh, truly productive and you have to listen to it because it's going to open your eyes. It's going to expand your vision toward uh, which enterprise you can focus your efforts so that enterprise can become very gaining for one and as well can uh, very quickly make itself worthwhile while in the same time have a lot of room to grow and a, a lot of um, long-term development. So uh, with the nine of pentacles as the guidance, the tarot asks you to jump into those business endeavors with great enthusiasm, with huge self reliability and as well uh, and determination and as well, and as well, uh, as well confidence that you can and you will push the things through or at, the, or at least the things which are uh, depending on your end of the bargain, on your end of the deal, on your end of the work. Additionally to that, the um, Nine of Pentacles asks you to take that uh, a, a kind of like rare opportunity to further your goal as a conquest, as a challenge and truly press into that direction because with the Nine of Pentacles, it always pays off. It is very gainingful, like I said, even if at the start it doesn't look like that it is that way. The accompanied card that is going to be the Moon card. So the formation here, it is a passive supporter, uh, passive friends, excuse me. Why I'm always saying supporters? So it's passive friends. And you will be very grounded, all right? You will be very aware uh, how much worth you are uh, how much yeah how much worth you are uh, you you have within yourself and how much uh, a value you can pull out of a certain situation certain relationship project job uh, enterprise into your social circle and so on and so forth so it doesn't look like that you are going to be uh, uh, prone to unrealistic goals and dreams so the criticism is going to be more about a um, um, incorrect approach toward the situation that you can do it even in a better fashion and they are going to pick point you that better fashion but the very least should you jump and try to uh, chase that uh, conquest jump into the business endeavors and uh, uh, take on this conquest it does look like that you're going to stabilize your environment your future and it, it, you will not going to be frantic about a, a future development either of your careers or either of your relationship as well. But I want to stress it one more time, guys, it all comes to that how harmonious flow you can maintain into your relationships that do matter, not in every relationship, but only into those that do matter, that can give you a, um, that can serve their purpose, excuse me, um, along the way of you chasing this, um, this goal of yours. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading, Capricorns. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And we're going to see each other um, next time. Until then, bye.